Hello everyone, I am Kiva Bidri, working as Assistant Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Mata Mandal Engineering College, Balagam. Today we are here to discuss about the topic of pistons, and design of pistons. So before moving to the design of piston, let us understand the parts of the piston. Here I have two pistons, uh, both of diesel engines, one of the piston of the car, other is the piston of a tractor. So here this piston, uh, basically this is the top part of the piston which is known as the crown of the piston or the head of the piston. As you can see here there are slots. These slots are made for the piston rings to be fitted in. These are the piston rings, uh, we will discuss about them. Further, this is known as the top land. This is the top land or the head. This is the second land, the third land and the base. Now, in these rings, in these slots, there will be put, uh, these rings will be fitted which is known as piston rings. The piston rings basically are of two types. This is the compression ring, other is the oil control ring. The oil control ring, as you can see, has slots inside. The oil control rings have slots. The compression ring does not have slots. Now these slots are for the oil to flow, the control of the oil, which is lubricant oil. Here as you can see there is a piston ring which has slots inside and this is no, no, this is an expander or a spacer which is fitted inside the ring just to keep it in a circular form at high temperature, at elevated temperatures. This is the uh, uh, spring form of an expander or spacer. Basically these two are the rings. Now after this this lower part of the piston is known as the piston skirt. As you can see, this is a thin portion which protrudes below. This is a this skirt of the piston. And here you can see inside there is a bit of thickness provided here. This thickness is the reinforcement. This is the reinforcement for the skirt of the piston. That is to provide strength. Then this is the head. As you can see from the head here, inside there is a small amount of thickness provided. This thickness is provided on both the sides, which is to give strength, that is the reinforcement, which it is to give the strength for the head of the piston when huge amount of load is acting on the uh, top part. Now, this is the hole wherein the gudgeon pin or the piston pin fits in. This pin fits in, the, in this way and here the connecting, rods, connecting rod is held by the piston pin. Here you can see this hole is known as a piston hole or piston pin hole and this thickness is known as the piston pin hole boss these two thickness and this thickness is given to improve the strength if this thickness would not have been given then there will be a lot of uh, there is there would be very uh, less amount of metal here which would uh, uh, fracture when there is a huge amount of load acting so this thickness is given which is known as the boss and finally uh, here we have another piston this is a basic piston and this is a a trunk piston. Trunk piston means it is that piston in which there is a compression ring or a piston ring, oil control ring below the piston hole, uh, below the pin hole, below the pin hole. And here there are three slots, uh, three rings, and one ring at the bottom. So the extra thing which you can see in this piston is there are holes here. This is again for the lubricant oil to flow out when the piston reaches its bottommost end. Here again you can see some uh, uh, holes, uh, which are again known as oil control holes. The same thing is, uh, as I told you in the previous, uh, for the previous question, this is the oil control ring and these are the compression rings. So these are the two pistons, uh, examples of two, uh, two pistons here. The material for the piston is basically aluminium and uh, uh, cast iron and steel also are used for pistons but with different uh, material content. Which all the different types of metals are used in pistons will be discussed in the further video along with the design of the piston. Uh, that's all for now. If you like the video, please subscribe.